everybody welcome back to my channel it's andrea today i have my first update for the nightmare on panning street project pan that was created by jaylon and valerie and i will have their well i'll have jaylon's channel linked down below and valerie is on instagram only so i'll have her instagram linked down below as well as the fantastic ladies and Basically anything that I had linked in the description box of my intro video will be in the description box of this video. So there, Valerie and Jalen compiled a list of 40 different horror movies and then they came up with prompts for all of them. And you can do six or 13. Some people, like, I think, I think Jessica Lee is doing it this way. I don't know. I think some people, like, aren't really doing it roulette style they're just doing all 40 at once and some people like are doing it roulette style but they've already got all of their products picked out I like to fly by the seat of my pants so I didn't do it that way I'm doing it roulette style and when I roll in a prompt I'll figure out a product for that prompt so I I did use every item in this project at least one time but I, you all don't want to hear me complain about my skin and how I'm not allowed to wear makeup until the 8th and all this other stuff so I won't go into it again but I did I did get uses on everything at least one time so the five five so the six prompts that I rolled from wow I can talk today so the six prompts that I rolled from the intro the first one I got was number five which is the exorcist something that makes your head spin with delight and we did watch The Exorcist already, by the way. Not that scary, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, but I, I've become desensitized probably. So I decided that I was going to bring in my Beauty Bay Wilderness palette because this is a newer purchase and it's very, whoops, very pretty and it just makes me very happy. So I was doing this um, no pan left behind style where I want to use each shade at least once and this is something that I saw Allie do from Wonder in Allie Land where she has the post-it with the shades and then you just cross them off as you use them. If I can, I mean it shouldn't be too hard to figure out because I've only used this, I've used five shades and I've used it twice. Like I've used the palette twice with for a total of five shades. You know what I'm saying. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out which looks I used this palette with since I've pretty much done my makeup two times since I uh, filmed that update but I will see if I can throw the the pictures up I will I know for one look I used these two blues and then whatever other shadows I was using and then the other look I used the three matte greens in the second row and then I think that day I used those three greens with Davina Exosphere that's in my Panners Pan project for Lainey. So those are the two looks I've used with this. There are 20 shades in here, so I still have 15 shades to go. I'm hoping that once I get the all clear by the dermatologist and I can start wearing makeup again, this shouldn't be too much of a problem to get out by the next update and then I can I will have one prompt down at least. Number 34 is Fright Night, a red item or something vampire themed. So I picked a red a red mini lippy. This is the Tristique mini crayon in Tuscan wine and this is old. There's that's all that's left. I did use it five times. I wasn't gonna, I didn't bother making like any marks on paper or weighing it or anything because I'm a terrible panner and I'm also lazy. But I did use it five times. Again, once I am able to like use lip products and stuff again, I think this should go fairly quickly. And hopefully this will also, I'll also be able to roll this out. Although I don't, I would estimate, given the way that I use lip products, I would estimate like maybe January's update. Oh, this will be done, but I don't know. 23 is Poltergeist, something that's always here in your collection. 
for me that is this Andalou Naturals toner which I only I used 15 times so it was brand new I didn't mark the bottle but it's down here I would obviously have way more use on this if I was allowed to use any of my skincare but I don't so I don't so so that is that I mean this will be pretty easy to, for me to use I think actually this is the next thing I'm going to try to incorporate back because I've been slowly like slowly even though I haven't gone back to the dermatologist yet like one or two like hair skin products I've been very slowly working back in and I think this will be the next one because I really do miss spraying this all over my face because it smells really good number 26 Dracula a product that sucks the life out of you so and I, I had a hard time with this prompt and then I was watching everybody else's intro videos and they're all doing like a mattifying powder or a clay mask and I'm just like well I'm not smart enough to come up with that so I picked this loose highlighter from Copacetic Cosmetics in the shade Danvers Asylum because as much as I love highlighter and I like this highlighter is a very pretty color it sucks the life out of me because I just hate applying loose products and it's a pain in, in my butt so my goal is 15 uses on this one I did wear it twice so I still have 13 left to go on that Number two is Halloween, a set of sheet masks or a full or deluxe size face mask. So I picked this Andalou Naturals Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask. I did use it one time. <sighs> this mask. So when I went to the dermatologist, <laughs> I like how I'm like, I'm not going to talk about my skin. You guys don't want to hear about that anymore. And then I'm just like talking about my skin. But when I went to the dermatologist, one, when I was telling her the products I was using and things, one of the triggers she suspected was honey because I was using a lot of different products, a lot of different new products all at the same time that, and a lot of them had honey in them. So I don't know 100% for sure if honey is what caused my skin problems. I am going to ease back into it slowly and not use like five different products that have honey or propolis in them which she said is the allergen in honey but of course this has honey in it so I think like once once I go back to the dermatologist and she says I can start like doing incorporating more things like into my routine I will try this and if it gives me any issues I will declutter it to like my sister or somebody and I will pick a new mask in its place so this specific mask may or may not be staying in the project after this next month but if it is not then I will obviously use a different mask to replace it with because using it one or two times and then decluttering it and that's I didn't really meet my goal did I so that's that's the that on that and we shall see I'm hoping that I don't have to declutter it and stop using it I actually really don't I really don't care for pumpkin that much but it doesn't smell too bad even though it is pumpkin and the one time I did use it I did like it so we'll see with that and then the last of my original six prompts was number 33 Hellraiser a facial exfoliant I think Valerie was very proud of <laughs> proud of that that prompt um so I picked this little Urban Veda Turmeric and Botanics Radiance Exfoliating Facial Polish. It's just, it's just a little mini. Obviously my goal is to use it up. I used it one time actually looking at from the ring light. I down here, I really should be marking stuff. Like I've got my Sharpies right here. Why? Well, it's not even in here, so. We'll just kind of like, I'll do it kind of in between where the highest and lowest points are. So after one use, I'm right there. Obviously I didn't mark it before. I'm sure there was an air bubble in there. It wasn't full to the top. So I guess I'll mark my toner too while I'm at it. Why the heck not? There, there, I marked it. You can see. So that's where I'm at with the toner. So 
I guess it depends. Potentially, this might be done by next update, but especially if I'm only very slowly adding things back into my routine and I'm definitely going to want to take it easy on my skin for a while. I don't want to over exfoliate. So I'm guessing end of January, maybe this will be done. But And then after I watched Ruth's video, I was like, because if I didn't have the skin issues, I definitely, I definitely would have been done with this. I probably would have been done with my wilderness palette as well, at least. So I figure this wouldn't have been a problem normally, but obviously since I can't wear makeup or do anything, I don't have progress, but I still want to keep rolling prompts because I want to, I want to make sure I get through all of them this year. So like I said, again, <laughs> after I watched Ruth's video, I'm like, yes, I'm going to do this progressive style as well, but I'm only going to do, it'll depend on like, if I start getting really far behind in future months, I might do it progressive but I might roll in more than one but for now I'm just gonna roll in one new one so I already I already did it I took a screen recording so you can see like the number that I got but I got number 38 which is the grudge an item you wish you hadn't purchased and I did have a little a little bit of a hard time with this one just because for the most part and I'm gonna say 99 percent of my collection makeup skincare hair care body care like everything I really don't regret purchasing much this one is this this at the time I was glad I got it now I regret it it is this revolution pro hd amplified palette it's just there's highlighters and blushes and bronzers but did I really need a palette well, there's 15 different ones in here and these are about, I think these are the same size as the pans in my contour palette that I've been working on in my oldies project. And it, especially for the highlighter, it takes a long time to hit pan and I just, I don't know what I was thinking when I did this. So again, I'm going to roll this in. I'm going to do a no pan left behind style, which just use each one at least once. Like, and I don't mind a glowy bronzer necessarily, but I mean, these are just, I mean, these, besides the fact that these, those two look like the same, they're just, they're too like shiny and metallic for me to actually want to use as a bronzer on my face. And they're too like coppery for me to want to use as blush toppers. So I guess some of these shades they're just going to be I'm just going to have to use them as eyeshadows or something because there's no way I'm putting that on like on my cheekbone like cheek contour or on my forehead so we'll see I just it's so old that I can't I can't like safely donate it and there's so much product in here that I really don't want to just like throw it away so I've just been holding on to it and barely ever used it so I need to get some more use on it but I do, I do wish I hadn't purchased this. Anyway, thank you for watching. I promise I am not going to babble on about my skin in my next video, which will be tomorrow, which would be my Panners Bingo, because basically all of November is a wash for me. And I, at this point, I'm probably... If I'm late on an update, I'm probably just going to wait until next month because I just, I can't be bothered. Well, I mean, I say it like that, like it's, it's a chore, but I just don't want to film like five updates and be like, no progress, no progress, no progress. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So that was my update for Nightmare on Panning Street. I am loving this project. I'm loving our scary movie nights that we have on Sundays, which are free well <laughs> I say free like we're charging admission or something we're not um Valerie every like Thursday posts the link in Fantastic Ladies and lets you know what movie we're watching and we've slowly been adding more people like more people have been coming in and watching with us and it's just a really fun time and then when the movie is done when we all talk about makeup for like a half hour to an hour to more sometimes and it's just a really good time so 
I hope Valerie and Jalen don't mind me like plugging movie nights, but they're fun and it's just fun. It's fun to meet. It's fun to meet people that you know through the panning community and like just do something fun together. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you're doing this project, I probably have already, well, I've been bad and I'm really behind on videos and like half of the intro videos I still have not watched yet. So I need to get on that and do it. So if you see me <laughs> commenting on your intro video a month late, it's because I've just, YouTube has gotten away from me. I don't know what to say. It's, it's like a job, not, not, not an unfun job. Wow. I'm just sticking my foot in my mouth all over the place. It's like a job in that like you, it takes, you have to find time to do it. And I just don't have a lot of time. So it's like, there's just so many YouTube videos and so little time. So I do what I can. And this is a total tangent, but just indulge me for a second. When you are behind on videos, do you like, and I'm talking about like months behind for certain projects or just whatever you just, you, you want to watch a video and you just haven't and then you finally watch it and it's like three months later. Do you think it's weird when people comment on like videos that are months old? Because I want you to like I want people to know that I, I am actually watching. I did watch but at the same time I'm like are they even gonna know what I'm talking about? Because like sometimes I've gotten comments on and I'm not trying to discourage people from doing it on my channel. That's not what I'm saying. It's just sometimes I've gotten comments from people and I'm like, I, I, they asked me a question about like, what eyeshadow I'm wearing or something like that. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I, or they comment on something I said in the video. And I'm just like, D I guess I said that I don't remember because it was so long ago. But I don't know, just a just a question for you all. Like, I'm sure I'm sure nobody would mind. It's just me overthinking things because that's, that's what I do. But anyway, that that's, that's me trying to say like, if you have, if you have joined this project and you have a video and I haven't commented on it, that's why. <laughs> because I either watch it and I, because I haven't watched it yet, but I will watch it and I'll make, I'll comment even though we're already on the first update, but it's just me being weird. I'm sorry. This video is going to have to get edited a lot, but anyway. <laughs> I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy and having a great day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.